Fasciola hepatica, or common liver fluke, is a parasitic trematode which infects two or more alternative hosts. The life cycle of Fasciola hepatica goes through the intermediate host, which is a snail, and then completes its life cycle as an adult worm in the definite hosts, which are sheep, cattle, and also human. Now, let's go through each stage in the life cycle of the common liver fluke and see the differences between each stage. This is an unembryonated egg. On this stage, the egg doesn't develop to have an embryo in it yet. The size of an egg is about 63 to 90 micrometer in width and 130 to 150 micrometer in length. It has an oval shape with yellow-brown color and thin peel. The egg has an open lid on one end called operculum. This egg can be passed by infected human or other mammals in their feces. Immature eggs reach fresh water via the stool and then become embryonated in the water. With suitable temperature, pH, and amount of oxygen in the water, the eggs will develop to have larvae in them. The larvae are called myrosidium. 9 to 15 days later, the eggs will hatch and release myrosidia. And now we enter stage 3. On this stage, the larvae is flat and fragile. Its body is covered with cilia. It has apical gland that secrete enzyme for invading first intermediate host, which is a fresh water snail. Once the myrosidium penetrates a snail, it will develop into other following stages inside the snail, which are sporocyst, radia, and circaria. Now, let's discuss these three stages in more detail. We're going to start with sporocyst. It has a sac-like shape with germ cell in it. On this stage, it can divide to form more sporocyst or radia, which contain in the cyst inside the snail's body. The sporocyst has no mouth and gut, but it can absorb nutrients through its body wall. When time passes by, radia leaves sporocysts and move freely inside the host. On this stage, it has mouth and gut used for absorbing nutrients. It also can reproduce asexually to form more radia or circaria. The next stage is circaria. On this stage, motile, free-swimming circaria leaves radia through bud's pore then leaves the first intermediate host to infect second intermediate hosts, like fish and some water plants. Inside second intermediate host, Circaria removes its tail and insists. Now we are entering the next stage, Metacircaria. Metacircaria in the second intermediate host can be ingested by sheep cattle, human, or other mammals. Human get infected by a common liver fluke on this stage by eating raw fresh water fish with metacircaria in it. After host ingestion, the metacircaria exists in the duodenum and then it moves through the intestinal wall to the liver, then develop into an adult worm in the binary duct. An adult worm has a leaf-like shape with a size of about 13 mm in width and 20 to 30 mm in length. It is motile and can absorb nutrients through the mouth and gut. It is now reproducing sexually inside the host body and produce eggs to pass on their complicated but worth understanding life cycle.